how to install the Pixel 4 XL ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Pixel 4 XL ROM on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. What are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device because if we run into any boot loops we will have to do a format data from twerp recovery first thing we need to do is we'll go into settings and then as you can see i am running the ui 11.0.4.0 stable on my redmi k20 pro which is based on android 10. next thing we we'll go into settings password and security remove your password fingerprint unlock and face unlock once that is done Go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into account sensing and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? Well, we are doing this because we're going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. What if you're on a custom ROM? Well, in that case, you have to skip the steps which are not applicable to you. And in this case, it would be removing your me account. All the files which we need for this video are linked in the description of the video. And these are the files which we need. So you need an application called MacroDroid. This is something which requires root access. And we are going to use this to control the pop-up camera. Then you need Google Play Services APK. Magisk is needed to root. And we do need to root this build because we have to control the pop-up camera. In third-party applications using MacroDroid. Then we need the system and vendor zip files for the Pixel 4 XL ROM for the Redmi K20 Pro. And we also need another file, which is a macro, which is going to be imported in MacroDroid. As I mentioned, links to all of these files can be found in the description of this video. Next thing we need to do is boot into Twerp Recovery. For that, the first thing we're going to do is turn off our device. Once the device has turned off, we're going to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the twerp recovery boot logo once we have booted into twerp recovery first thing we'll do is go into wipe advanced wipe and select dalvik cache system vendor and data once you have selected all these partitions swipe to wipe once the wipe process has finished successfully click on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder. In my case, I have transferred them manually, so they are inside this folder called Pixel 4 Excel. And here are the files which we need. The first file which we need to select is the vendor zip file, and then we will click on add more zips and select the system zip file, and then swipe to confirm flash. Once both the files have flashed successfully, we will click on the home button. And now all you need to do is go into reboot and select system. Do note that whether you are encrypted or not encrypted, you do not have to flash DFE. DFE is baked into the ROM. And in case you run into any boot loops, in that case, we will have to boot back into Twerp Recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time till we see the Twerp Recovery boot logo. Then we'll go into wipe, format data, type in yes, and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard. For now, we're going to skip the step of format data, go into reboot and select system, if you get a message that no OS is installed, just ignore it and swipe to reboot. And bam, there it is. We are on the Google boot animation, which means our device is booting into the Pixel 4 XL ROM. The first boot up will take some time, so you have to be patient. In fact, it did not take much time and we do not have the setup screen either, but we can always go into settings. And then if you go into about phone, and click on the Android version, you will see that the Android version is in fact 10. And if I also go into settings, the phone is being recognized as the Pixel 4 XL. The first thing we're going to do now is we're going to open the file manager application and install the Google Play Services 
apk so click on the three dot menu on the top right select show internal storage three bar menu on the top left devices name pixel 4 xl and now we need to go into the folder where we have the apk pixel 4 xl and we're going to install this apk click on continue click on install and once the install has finished successfully you should be able to sign into the google play store and download applications from there once the apk has installed successfully we're going to click on done and the next thing we're going to do is we are going to root our device so that we can control the pop-up camera and third-party applications so we're going to turn our device off and once the device has turned off we will press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the two up recovery boot logo once we have booted into two up recovery we'll go into install and again you need to go to the folder where you have the magisk zip file in my case pixel 4 excel folder and select the magisk zip file and then swipe to confirm flash once that is done all you need to do is reboot system now why did we not flash magisk when we flashed the rom well we were trying to remove all the variables which might result in a boot loop so with my method you now know that if you get a boot loop it is because of the rom or because of magisk in our case it was none so we are back into android we can unlock our device and wait for magisk to pop up there it is magisk is there in case magisk manager does not show up in that case all you need to do is download the magisk manager apk and install it manually next thing we're going to do is we'll go into files and then three dot menu on the top right make sure you get the option as hide internal storage or if you get it as show internal storage tap on that three bar menu on the top left pixel 4 excel and then we'll go into the pixel 4 excel folder one more time and the next apk which we're going to install is the macro droid application now once macro droid has installed successfully we are going to open the application it is going to ask for super user request we will click on grant and then just tap on this arrow multiple times till we reach the home screen here we will click on export or import and then in the import section we will select storage click on allow for permissions and again three dot menu on the top right select show internal storage if you get the option as hide internal storage don't have to do anything three bar menu on the top left pixel 4 excel go into the folder where you have the mdr file so this is the file which i was talking about it might be linked in the description of this video as a zip file in which case you will have to unzip it to get the mdr file all you need to do is select this and it is asking for notification access click on ok enable the toggle for macro droid click on allow we can go back click on ok one more time accessibility permission needed for macro droid tap on it enable the toggle click on allow we can go back go back one more time and there it is macro droid was granted super user rights and now we can try to open the pop-up camera all you need to do is long press on the volume up button and that should bring out the pop-up camera bam there it is and long press again to pop it down here it is again long press pop-up camera comes out long press volume down pop-up camera goes back in which means our macros to control the pop-up camera were imported successfully so there it is peeps that is how you install the pixel 4 xl rom on your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you